So how important are proxies anyway? Can't you just use a VPN? That's one of the questions I get asked and that's why I felt the need to make this video. Proxies are necessary and imperative, especially if you wanna build an OnlyFans management agency and grow it while managing multiple models. So I actually have a few notes with me because look, when you create a few of these videos and you start speaking about technical stuff like dating apps and marketing and entities, they web browsing proxies, you need some notes because it gets hard to recall it all, all right? So I got some notes here. So VPNs don't work for this. So first of all, let me tell you the difference between VPNs and proxies, all right? VPNs, yes, you see the ads everywhere, ExpressVPN, you hear it on Joe Rogan, blah, 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 protect this, protect that. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. That's to hide your identity when you don't care about the platform knowing that you're hiding your identity. But with what we're doing, you wanna be able to hide your identity without the platform, like OnlyFans, Reddit, dating apps, TikTok, or whatever, without them knowing that you're hiding your identity. That's the main difference. So VPNs will do whatever it takes to hide your identity, but they don't conceal that fact. They don't, sorry, they don't try and hide the fact you're hiding your identity. So it can bounce around, it can look like it's coming from here, then it looks like it's coming from there. It's hiding your identity, right? That's the only job it has. Whereas a proxy IP address looks like a real IP address. So it looks like it's coming from one spot because that's normally what an IP address is doing it comes from one spot you know it's not like you're jumping around from country to country and it can imitate whether it's coming from a house or a mobile phone or whatever so it can look legitimate it can look legitimate while hiding your identity so that first of all that's the main differences there so if you use a vpn with services uh, sorry with platforms like reddit and dating apps especially uh, they're going to get banned straight away because they know what you're trying to do and the point of this is to not let them know what you're trying to do while achieving it. So that's the main thing there. Um, so the proxy IP addresses, there's different types. Some types of proxy IP addresses can look just like VPNs. So these would be ones like data center because data center proxies, pretty much just a heap of proxies at data centers and different people can use them. The same thing will happen as if you're using a VPN, you will use a platform like Reddit or you know, whatever. And they'll see this proxy IP address coming from this data center and they'll see multiple people using it and they'll have a high fraud rating and it won't work. So when I say use proxy IP addresses, what I mean are specific ones. Now, the other types of proxy IP addresses are static, slash residential, so you can have um, static or, what's the other one? Rotating residential, which means static, which means stay still, or rotating, which which means, you know, rotating, so it bounces around. Residential, what that means is it can either look like it's staying still or bouncing around, but it appears that it's coming from a house. Now, as you can imagine, you'll want a static residential proxy because then the proxy looks like it is coming from a house that's standing still, which is what they normally do. So you don't want a residential proxy that's rotating because houses don't normally rotate. Now, there is one other type of proxies that are arguably, well, no, the best types of proxies, and that is mobile proxies. They look like they're coming from a mobile device. They normally have the best fraud rating, which is next to zero or zero fraud rating, which is what you want. And you can use them with dating apps with these along with any other platforms, no worries. But they are really expensive. So a lot of the times they're probably overkill. So with things like Reddit and OnlyFans, you can get away with just using an everyday static residential proxy. It doesn't even have to have the best fraud rating. It just has to look like it's come from a house that's standing still and that will be no worries. But then when you start getting a bit more technical and using things like dating apps, depending what method you're using, but if it does involve proxies, then you will want mobile proxies. That would normally involve uh, app cloner on an Android device. You'll create cloned apps and then you use mobile proxies with those clones. That is a case where you cannot use residential proxies with that because you're creating, you know, you're using a proxy IP address with an app on a mobile device. So you can imagine if you use a residential proxy with a mobile app, doesn't really look right so then you'll get banned from that so if you're using a mobile app on a mobile device then you want a mobile proxy that is the difference between VPNs and proxies and that is why proxy IP addresses are so important especially if you are building an OnlyFans management agency and you want to manage different models then you have to be able to manage all these various accounts without the platforms knowing that you're managing multiple so that is why you need proxy IP addresses and you can say goodbye to VPNs I know you listen on the Joe Rogan podcast and you hear about ExpressVPN and whatever that's good that's great for the purpose mentioned in the ad but not for what we're doing all right so don't get the two confused if you don't understand already then what i'm saying is forget about vpns you can only use proxy ip addresses so i suggest you start researching or if you trust me enough which you should 
then just use static residential for everything except for dating apps, all right? Anyway, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the Discord.